So today we're out on um, the R350, which is a, uh, a, a boat made by Ribcraft. Um, it's powered by a 40 horse Suzuki um, engine. Um, Lukey's going to take it out for a bit of fishing. Uh, boxing day today. Yes, it is. Do you have a so you've got isolator in there. That's that one. It's very well equipped. It comes with um, navigation lights, bilge pump, um, Ray Marine um, unit. It's got a fish finder. Yeah, fish finder. And it's got loads of little storage compartments, and we'll go through those a bit more in detail later. Big locker up here. Yeah, and that's where your fuel tank is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 25 litre fuel tank. And it definitely gets you around because we used it the other weekend over to Cows and back and played around on it and we only used 8 litres. Yeah, so, so. it's uh, just going to try it with a bit of fishing today. So yeah, give it a go. Um, let's get you launched. Um, I'll just make sure the bung's in, Luke. Yeah. this on. So that's the bung. You got power trim and tilt on here, haven't you? Take the old safety latch off. Right, power up and down. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Right. We filled up with fuel, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, just double check all of that. And I believe this is it. We've got the fuel tank in there. Got quite a lot of storage space in there, haven't we? Yeah, you've got enough for a couple of life jackets, anchor and other little bits and bobs. You right, Lukey? Yeah, all good. Got your fishing gear? What's that? Got your fishing gear? Yeah, getting it all on board. Well, okay. so she's got everything you need in her, isn't she? Yeah, so we've got the uh, bait, got a bit of tackle, got some leads, got the rods. And some rod holders. Yeah, oh, perfect. So I think I've got all the essentials. I think pretty much ready to go. Yeah. No, right. Right, you all good? Yeah, we're all good, mate. Right, let's detach and let's go. That's it. There we go. Right. Engine off. Three marine unit off. And that is it. Right. Let's get fishing. Right. So, got the rod holders in. Just cut up some bait. And now, just getting ready put the first line down but to be honest there's actually more room than expected on this to fit in I thought it'd be quite tight for space but to be honest it's not actually it's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be Alright, 
Someone's got some leads out. We're going to go for an 8 ounce. That's the lightest we've got today. And by the looks of it, that tide is going out that way. So, I think that wind's holding me off a little bit. They're just making me sort of sit here, not actually needing an anchor, because that's where I'm attached to as a pot boy, and I don't think it's really needed. Right, here we go. First bait's going out. We've got squid, and that's it. That's all we're using today is squid. There we go. First bait is out. And that, that's a three. Right, first rod's out, I'm gonna now get the second one out. So on the first one, I've got some mackerel feathers, going hopefully for some whiting or anything like that. This one, we're gonna go a little bit bigger. So hoping for maybe anything at this point. It could be cod, conger. So on this one, we've got some bigger hooks, we've got some cocks and wool. Matsu circles and catfish up on this. Oh, is that, is that a little nibble I think? We've just had a little bite on this. Very, very small. Get fish on. Yeah, we've got a fish on. Fish on. Didn't even get the second one out. Gosh, it's got some weight to it. Yeah. What have we got here? We've got a dogfish. Number one doggy. Didn't even get the second rod out. There we go. There we are. Little doggy. Let's get this hook out. Right. And there we go. We've got a little dogfish. Right, let's check him back. There he goes. Let's give that another flick out. So today I'm fishing on a little bit of rough ground. So that's why you've got the pot boys here, because obviously you've got all the rough ground for all the little cockles and those other bits and bobs. And that's where I'm fishing today. Oh, yeah, fish on. Another dog. Another little dogfish. He's a dog squid. Another dogfish. There he is. Oh, got knocked on that one as well there. It's had a few little nibbles in there. Put my gloves off. Get this one up. Nice little dog fish. There he is, turn him around. Another, another dog fish. But by the looks of it, we've got some bites on that. So, let's get him away. He's taken the head, and that's it. He's rob robbed me. I'm not going to throw that bait away because I'll probably use that in a minute for the mackerel feathers. But I'll just get a new, new one out. Oh, it was cold. So. 
with baiting up squared, what I tend to do is go you, with the hook that's tied to the hook that's actually tied to your rig, not the one that's running. I put through the tail of the squid, then spin it around and push it down through the squid. So try and push it as far down as you can, and then out the underneath of the squid, there's a lot of ice. You pull that hook out, just like that. So you're pulling the hook out, try to leave most of its stuff inside. And then, when you get the hook out, that hook then goes through through its head and goes all the way through to the other side. Now I tend to pull the line from the tail where you fed it through and just pull that slowly and it sort of positions itself quite nicely. And then with the other hook, the one that's running, slide it down, slide it all the way down to the tail of the squid and I tend to do two or three wraps and then just hook the, hook the last one straight into the tail like that and then it gets a nice flowing squid bait. And all I'm going to do with that, wipe my hands and then cast it out. And then I think I'm going to bring that one up because I think there's a few little bites whilst I was doing that. Doing that then. There we go. Right. So let's give that a little flick out. Just like that. That'll do. Insert on the bottom. And that's it. All good there. Oh, I'm just going to move this rod holder. That's the nice thing I know, you've got four rod holders at the back for when you're travelling. Oh, that's it. That's it. Right. There we go, so that one's now nicely laid out the back. Just where I want it, which is absolutely fine. And that one is away from the boat out the back. And I'm thinking this one, I'm going to just stick out the back, but over there somewhere, just to the side. I think that's it. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Whole squid. Nice small squid. That'd be perfect. What we're hoping for today is a nice conga or even a cod if we're lucky. Nice conga would be quite nice. So the one I've just dropped under the boat and I've just been baiting up that has just had a few little knots. Very tiny little bites. There's something, something playing with it. This one. I'm not sure what this is actually. Might be another dogfish. Another dog. Right, let's get him off and chuck him back. There we go. Nice and easy. Little wave there. But not too bad to be fair considering there is not it's not flat calm conditions there is quite a few waves and i'm sat with the back to the waves where usually on some boats you get the waves come over the back but this one no issues at all it's just been going over the top of them oh, another boat on this one Another fish, fish on, straight under the boat again. God, got another nice amount of weight on that. What is it? Another dogfish. So at the moment, I'm sat here. Back rest is the steering wheel. 
and you see we've got boxes down there. There's enough space on her to fish all the way around. And you can see I've got three rods out and you could quite easily fish another one there. So you could quite easily fish four rods. Not that we just had a little knock. But it is actually surprisingly spacious and really comfortable because this is not, I wouldn't say this is flat calm conditions. Fish on. There we go. Got another, another fish on. This one's actually got a nice amount of weight on it as well. We've got a, we've got a conga. There we go. Got a little strap conga. Oh, there he is. When I say little, definitely little, but it's a fish. Right, let's get him over. There we go. Oh, he's on. Look at that. A lovely little strap conga. Oh, there he goes. He fell off. He's just tangled it up. Perfect. Just reset that bait. The nice thing on this is you've got space all the way around to cast. So you can just go all the way around it and it's very easy to cast off a bit. It's actually a really nice stable fishing platform, especially for people who don't have the space for big boats, but still want to get out on the water. It gives you that opportunity to get out and it's not a massive boat, so it's easy to launch, easy to maintain, and it's really stable. And not a bad fishing platform. Just had a little knock on this one. I think there might be something on, but not sure. Yeah, there is. Yeah, we've got a dogfish. No dog. He's not actually hooked, I don't know. I don't think he is. There he is. He's just come off. There he goes. Alright, let's get this one back in. Alright, so just been sat here. The tide's still still pushing through, but sadly, no more bites as of yet. It's been really quiet to be fair. I haven't had much. Apart from that conga and the dog and a few dogfish. But just thinking about a few things. At the moment, I'm just sat here, obviously sat on the seat. You can see, just a normal seat. And um, that I reckon on the steering wheel you could have a little cushion. Is how I'm sat at the moment. Is my back is on the on the steering wheel and I'm sat out watching over the rods. But I reckon a little cushion would be really comfortable then. And also for a bait tray, I reckon you get the rail blazer mounts and you could put two just on here. And you can have a nice roll blazer bait tray instead of obviously having a normal chopping board. And then that would be that would be ideal. Just a few little things I was thinking about what could be upgraded. But apart from that, it's really, really comfortable to fish off. Even without a cushion there. Even on the steering wheel. It's still still comfortable. But just thinking of little little things and it started to flatten off now, which is quite nice. That wind's dropped. Just hopefully catch a few more fish. We've got a fish on. Oh, it's got some weight to it to be fair. Not actually sure what this could be. What is that? We've got a, another dark fish. He, there's no bites, he's just sat on that. Right, I'll get him off. And I'll chuck him back. So all right, so I've just released from the pot boy. Just brought in my, brought in my rope. Chuck some gloves on, and I think we're going to head back. So that is the that's the plan. We've had quite a few fish, loads of dogs, one little conga. But apart from that, there hasn't been much else around. So I'm just going to chuck some gloves on. There you go, kill cord on. 
think. So it looks of it, everything's out the back, all nice and good. Rods in, that's it. And there's Dazza over there. That was a good couple of hours, wasn't it, Luke? Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. It was really comfortable to be fair fishing off this. Yeah. Three rods, could have quite easily fished more. Yeah. But yeah, really comfortable. And I was quite surprised for a little boat, there's a lot of space for fishing, which is quite nice. And you can hoon round on it. Can't and you? you can fly around on it, which is nice. But it's really comfortable platform. Alright, so I've just pretty much washed most of the rib craft off now. Just got to do a few little, few more little bits. But apart from that, I've been really impressed today. So I've obviously been out on it most of the day today. So I was obviously fishing three rods. Could have quite easy out of four, so I've run out, one out the back, quite far to the left, one straight under the boat, and one out to the right. But I could have quite easily had another one just underneath the boat. So with on this boat it's a 25 litre fuel tank and that is up in the front of the in the front so at the moment i've got some rail blazer bits and bobs in there but you can see you've got a 25 litre it's still saying full i probably barely used any today and i've it's quite a large locker so you could quite easy fit your anchor some life jackets and some other few little bits and bobs, your lunch for the day, and all your fishing gear and everything, which is really nice. And really simple setup here, so all we've got is the Raymarine screen, and obviously for the Suzuki you've got for your trim and fuel burn and everything else there. And yeah, there we go, nice and straight. It was a good day out to be fair. The other nice thing is, is a lot of storage. So you open up these, as you can see, all sealed nicely. And in there you've got a nice, nice large locker to put some stuff. And then next to that one, you've also got another one. Exactly the same, all sealed, watertight, but this one's a little bit, a little bit deeper, so you can obviously fit a lot of stuff in there. And this, this rib craft has got a 40 horsepower Suzuki on it which actually pushes it along really, really nicely to be honest. I wasn't flat, I was flat out a little bit, but not all the time, and it just sat there cruising across the waves, lovely. And I wasn't at any point uncomfortable. I think the nice thing about it is unlike other ribs, you get some waves come over the back, but no waves come over the back, that's all from wash off. But no waves come over the back and splash me whilst I was out fishing. Where it's not a massive boat, it's not a lot to deal with so it's a nice simple wash down nice and easy to bring on the trailer nice and easy to launch and it's definitely easy for one or two people if you want if you wanted to go out for a nice day out there's only a few little bits i said what could have you could have added to the boat obviously a nice rail blazer bait tray just to go on there or the other side and a cushion for your backrest but apart from that Everything was really good. And I was impressed with how well it handled in the water. Today it wasn't flat calm, but it wasn't rough. And yeah, it was really comfortable ride. So yeah, that's washed down, almost done. Oh, missed a little bit there. Get that off in a minute. But there we go. And there's one other thing I've got to mention is underneath on the hull there is a Kevlar strip as you can see and that allows you to go up the beach and sort of beach it if you want to and explore a little bit more so it gives you that other option which is nice but yeah it was a good day wasn't it? Yeah, yeah really enjoyed it and yeah. cracking little trailer as well you've got the SBS trailer yeah. in, um, in black yeah no it's a nice little setup.
easy, isn't it? Yeah, really easy. Very similar to a jet ski. Yeah, it's got that very similar size. sort of size and shape to it, but it's where it's a rib, so it makes it much sturdier, especially when you're standing up trying to fish off it and you've got some waves. I found it today quite sturdy. I think this will give us an option to go up into the shallows area, fishing for some bass. Gives us a different option of fishing, which is nice. Yeah, it does, yeah. All right, let's get her hooked up and take her home. All right, thank you very much for watching and see you later.